Right, question I get asked all the time is how to elasticate a top kit properly. People are always asking what sort of elastics, you know, what's the best cutting your pole back. I see loads and loads of people with not the correct setup. And don't forget, this is the business end of your pole. This is what catches you all the fish or make sure your pole is operating well. So just a few things I'm going to show you today to try and keep your pole running a little bit better. So first of all, I've got an existing elastic in here. It's a 10 holler. I've had it in there a long time now. It's caught plenty of fish and it's showing a bit of wear. So I'm just going to change it over today and show you how I do that. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is just trim the end off because actually today I'm going to change this kit still has a traditional puller kit in it. And what I want to do is I want to change this puller to one of the new roller pullers. Really, really important, I think, to make that change. I've had in the old puller kits, uh, over time, the elastic has worn a little bit as you're pulling fish all the time. With the new roller pullers, that's one thing less I have to worry about. So, what I'm going to do here, I've got a pair of pliers. I just very, very carefully, I'm going to get hold of the existing bush. Okay, not touching the pole in any way at all. Take some getting hold of, and then just tweaking that out, just nice and gently. There we go, got it. All right, so that's the existing. So now I'm left with the hole. Now I'm left with a small hole where the existing puller was. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my drill, and I've got myself a nine and a half mil Dremel drill bit. I'll bring it close to the camera so you can see, okay? And uh, what I'm gonna do, just gonna drill a hole in my pole. Be very careful when you do this. You must have a reinforced area of your pole if you're gonna drill your pole with the uh, extended Dremel drill bit. It's such an easy thing to do, um, but we've tested it with the bigger holes and as long as you've got a reinforced area on your top kit, don't worry about drilling a slightly bigger hole to fit one of the roller pullers. It's not a problem. So, all I do is just place it on the desk. Just gonna gently put my drill there. Simple as that. There we go, I've got a nine and a half mil hole now. Now, what I've got is a small file. I'm gonna polish that off a little bit so it's not completely messy. Not loads of bits of carbon stuck in. Now. The roller pullers actually take a 10 mil drill bit, but I don't want to have a hole that's too big because the pullers themselves actually click into place. So I know that this hole is now going to be a little bit too small. There it is, yeah, just a little, just a touch too small, which is fine. Just going to use my file, make that hole slightly bigger at the bottom, just to allow the lug to get in. And now I should have no problems clicking that into place. There we go, perfectly in place. So there you have it. Okay, there is the new roller puller fitted into my pole. Because it's on a lug system and it can just click into place, I can also just take it back out again, which is when I actually elasticate the pole, that's what I do. I just unclip it and put it to one side, ready to elasticate the pole. So I'm gonna get my new elastic. another 10 holler to replace that existing one that I've got. Don't know if you've been using 10 holler. Absolutely fantastic elastic. Seems to cover most situations for me at the moment. Um, unless you're on a very snaggy peg or something like that. Really good for probably I'd say carp up to five pound. Um, you know you'll get bigger carp in with it but if you're consistently catching bigger carp you probably want a stronger elastic but generally speaking this is what I've been using on most of my commercials at the moment. There we go, I'm just threading that all the way through because it's a big section, no problem there, no need to use a threader. Now, what I do is to get hold of this elastic in the hole, got a pair of scissors and I'm literally just going to get, run the scissors around the pole, takes a couple of goes just to get it. I'm just going to, it just grabs hold of the elastic. I'm sure you could use like a pair of tweezers or something like that, but I've just been doing it like this with a with a pair of scissors. He says shouldn't be a problem, I've got it this time. There we go, just pulled it through the hole, perfect. Okay, and I want it to run through the roller puller. So I'm just gonna thread it through the roller puller now. There we go. 
I always take the small bead out of the roller puller just because I want it to, it seems to clip into place a little bit nicer. So I'll just clip that into place, push that bead in, bring that to the camera. There you can see it's all in place with the elastic running out. Now, what I like to do is I like to fit a nice Dacron bead in the end. So all I do is take the elastic, take my Dacron bead, I've got a diamond eye threader and I just pass that through the bead and I just place the elastic through the diamond eye threader without dropping it. Nip it on and then pull the bead. Now I always wet the elastic just to prevent any damage and then pull the line through. I'm gonna bring this close up again now. So what I've got here is a nice bead there a Dacron bead, which means I can simply tie a single overhand loop, you know, just like that, wet it up, and then when you pull that bead down, that will not pull through there. You can see all the elastic sticking out there at the end, and I just simply trim those tags, like so. So when it sits in the end of the roller puller, that's the finished product. A very, very neat, very very tidy system which is never ever going to pull through and you can hear obviously that roller puller works just like that so that's all done at the business end really the business end is it i suppose the business end is the other end but it's all done at the roller puller end put it that way and i'm just going to get the two lengths of elastic now the old elastic and the new elastic i'll just tie a simple knot between the two elastics better than using a, uh, a threader because it's already threaded. I just simply pull the new elastic through. There we go, it's at the connector, put it through the knot. There we go. Right, now, one thing that's very important before you put your connector on, okay, is to make sure your elastic is tensioned properly, okay? So when I say tensioned properly, what I want to see is the elastic pre-stretch, because if you don't pre-stretch your elastic, as soon as you catch your first two or three fish, you'll have six inches coming out of the end. So, I just trim it at dead length, and I simply get the elastic, and I pull it tight, and I wind it around my hand. If you've got a bit of space in a mate, you can just stretch it out in a car park or something like that. But we haven't got that situation today, so you can just see I'm just winding it around my hand, Winding it around the hand, making sure it's all had a good stretch. It's not going to pull through, so I'm on the roller puller at the end. There we go, there's sort of the bottom. And I just hold that for two, three, four seconds. All the elastic is now fully stretched. It's had a pre-stretch. Bearing in mind that I cut that at absolutely dead weight. Just going to unravel that over there. Look at that. Look how much elastic you'd have had sticking out of the end had you just left it as normal. And then, to finish the elastic off, I'm going to use the... Uh, the sleeve system, if you go on the uh, top tips page on the website or friend, help from my friends, uh, you'll see Adam Wakelin showing you in detail how to do this close up, but basically dead straightforward, diamond eye threader, a small one inch piece of elastic I've trimmed off there, just wet the diamond eye threader, thread it through the middle of the elastic, and then Place the new elastic through the diamond eye threader. And you'll be able to wet that and pull that piece of elastic that's on the threader clean over the top of the existing elastic. Okay, absolutely fantastic way here because this is where I'm going to put my connector. There you have it. There you have a piece of elastic over another piece of elastic. I'll bring that close up, hopefully you can see that there. There you see, just a, a piece of elastic over elastic. I'm going to take my existing connector and all I do now is all I'm going to want to do now is put a knot in the elastic, single loop knot, trim my tag off, 
And then what I do is I slip this piece of elastic and I thread it over the top. Again, you notice I'm wetting the elastic all the time. I don't want to cause any damage to the elastic by burning it under friction. And I just bring this elastic right in, right to the knot. Get my Dacron connector. Trim off the old piece of elastic that was that was on there. Tighter, that'll come off nice and easy then. There we go. I've just got the piece of Dacron here, I always take the bead off. I'm just going to loop that on the connector, dead simple process. There we go. Right, I'm going to bring this up close again so you can see this. So what I've done there is I've just looped the piece of Dacron behind the knot that is hidden by this doubled up piece of elastic now. This doubled up piece of elastic, the original piece of elastic has a knot in the side of it. And then there's a doubled up piece of elastic, you can see there, over the top. I'm just going to pull that down tight so it's locked in behind the knot can't slip anywhere, can't go any further up the pole. Look at that, you can see that, as hard as I pull that there, that is nipped on nicely behind a knot over two pieces of elastic. Absolutely fantastic way of connecting. And I just get my bead, my Dacron connector bead, diamond eye threader again, dead easy way of putting this back on. Use your diamond eye threader, wet everything again, you can see there. There, it's over the Dacron, and I'm just pulling it tight now. There we go. So the final piece of the puzzle. There it is, the Dacron connector. Nice and tight there. You see a nice doubled up piece of uh, elastic. That's never coming off there. Sits lovely on the end. And there you have it. Change my elastic over, change the roller puller kit over changed everything over it's not taking me very long whatsoever remember that remember those things when you're changing your elastic get your elastic right perfect elastic setup pole cut nicely back roll a puller kit in the end and a fresh new elastic very solidly connected let's get some fish caught on it now <laughs>